Hi everyone, so I finally received my A-level mathematics grade. Want to know how many marks I missed the top grade of A-star by? Hi everyone and welcome to my maths adventure. I hope everyone's doing well and enjoying this Indian summer we're currently experiencing in the UK. For me, the summer has been a period of change and introspection. I finally received my A-level mathematics grade, which was an A. I know I sound slightly disappointed and not overly overjoyed. The disappointment stems from my perception in the effort that I've put in over the last two years, which I feel that hasn't been rewarded, and by the number of marks that I missed out on the top grade of A star by. So let's break down my exam results. Just a recap, I had two pure tests, one stats, one mechanics, one online exam, and one extended piece of homework that all contributed to my final score. Assessment one was the two pure tests and contributed to 40% of my final score. I scored 100% in both tests, which was a good result. Assessment two was the stats and mechanics papers. I achieved the combined score of 66%. The mechanics paper was the most difficult test I've encountered and some questions were beyond what I studied and consequently beyond my ability level. Assessment three was the online test and I achieved 91%. And finally, assessment four was the extended homework over Easter and I achieved 100%. Therefore, my total aggregated score was 85.62%. So I missed the top grade of A star by an aggregated percentage of less than 4%. To put that into perspective, I needed an additional nine marks in my stats or mechanics paper, and it would have taken my final score to that magic 90% barrier for an A star grade. So my score collapsed in the mechanics paper, and I wouldn't be surprised if that final score was not even 30%. I know I put a strong performance in my stats paper, however, that wasn't even enough to rescue my poor performance in the mechanics test and make my final assessment to score climb. In any other year, the uniform marking scheme would have been used. I know that if UMS marking was to be used, then that aggregated score of 85.62% would have been enough for an A star, but due to the pandemic that has caused disruption to exams. This hasn't been used for the last two years. UMS marking scheme is a difficult marking scheme to explain, but there's a great video where the method is actually explained. I'll link the video in the description above. Since I received my exam result, I have been disappointed, but I know I shouldn't be. Most A-level students would love to achieve an A grade in mathematics. Perhaps it's the fact that I was so close yet so far to that A-star grade. Perhaps if I wasn't a mature student and working full-time, I could have got an A-star. Or maybe if I didn't have one evening class for three hours a week and a pandemic to live through, I could have got to that grade. But now I've had the chance to reflect about my performance, grow a little wiser, and think more intuitively about my performance. I think I did great considering all the reasons I just mentioned. Being a mature student, having a full-time job for 40 hours a week, only attending college for one evening a week for three hours, living through a pandemic and its disruption that it's had for the last two years. All that and I still managed to achieve an A grade, so I should be proud of my performance. I guess all this time I've been thinking of the what if scenario and using certain factors as an excuse rather than a strong positive for my performance. Win or lose, success or failure, positive experience or negative experience, I guess it all comes down to a sense of perspective. 